Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will show you how do you import earthquake data the correct way. So I have already downloaded a data set from USGS website for for the whole of my country, and I am going to import those points so into my QGIS project. So what I do, I go to this Open Data Source Manager, and then I come here to delimited text. There are several other options from for vectors, raster, mesh, uh, because I have downloaded the data in the form of a CSV file. So I will uh, stick with this delimited option, which is used for importing uh, tab separated values, comma separated values. Uh, and uh, for this uh, tutorial, we are going with a comma separated value. Uh, which we have downloaded a file uh, we have downloaded a file uh, which is in the form of a, a csv file uh, so there you have file name and uh, for the file name we want to browse into our folder so just click on these ellipses uh, and you will uh, go to a folder where your data is present so i have this data present here which says park earthquake csv 2010 to 2000 and uh, uh, 20 i will select this and say open to this uh, here i already know this is that this is a csv file so i will go with uh, file format a csv comma separated value format uh, let's say you have any other format so you will come to custom delimiters and the custom delimiters if you have tab, tab separated values you will select tab you have colon you select colon or space or semicolon uh, uh, because I have comma separated values so I don't come to this option readily also from here I can select this comma separated value but let's say we are going to stick with the CSV format and uh, uh, how do you know you have selected the correct format uh, if you have selected the correct format you will see a table is formed here it means the format which you have selected is a correct one uh, and if I select any other format, let's say in, uh, this time I select this tab separated format and uh, if I see if I come here to this table, there is no table here, which means I have selected the wrong format. So I will select uh, CSV and again see here we have selected the correct format and a table is present here. Now come to this option here. This option is not very much necessary, uh, but if you want to uh, discard some of the or also from your table you can uh, come here and uh, uh, put in any number of uh, rows you want to discard so i want to discard zero values uh, zero rows uh, i have i am importing it as it was before so i have the in this first row time latitude longitude and if i want to discard one of the rows so i will not see this uh, magnitude and this uh, first row which was present uh, before so i don't want to discard any of the rows uh, so this is done i come here to point coordinates um, if the table is uh, uh, formatted the correct way and if it, uh, the qjs already recognizes that x field should have the longitude option and the y field should have the latitude option it selects it and it picks it up by default it will pick this latitude as its x field and longitude sorry longitude as, a, as its x field and latitude as its y field for z field these two fields are uh, uh, always optional most of the times optional i would say but uh, uh, if you want to give any value here you will say uh, for the z field i want to have a depth value and for the m field i want to have the magnitude of value magnitude of the earthquakes so that's done and uh, don't ch change the crs uh, it's, it's a bit technical i have a separate video on how to change your crs the correct way so this is a bit technical if you change this directly here uh, your uh, uh, project will vanish from your canvas uh, and you will not be able to find it mm, uh, manually unless you zoom into that layer so click add and then click close here you can see uh, all the points have been imported into our uh, uh, qjs project sir. now with this data you can do a lot of things you can do interpolation you can make contours map you can um, clip these points so to only this layer uh, 
which we are going to do in the next video so this is how you import earthquake data the correct way i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and you have learned something new and if you think i have been of any assistance to you so please give this video a thumbs up and i hate calling for subscriptions myself so thank you so much assalamu alaikum